Are you sick of the rat race? Tired of that city life? Imagine waking up to views like this, or sunsets like this. Picture yourself cycling through rows of sun-kissed grapevines, sipping a delicious red wine overlooking vistas as beautiful as oil paintings, or tasting wine in a cellar that looks like it came fresh off the set of Game of Thrones. Now what if I told you this isn't Tuscany? Not even France. Spain? Eat your heart out. This is our romantic getaway at Sleeper's Vineyard in Kekaringu, New Zealand. Cheers. So if you've had enough of city town life, this is the perfect place for you. We're going to be exploring the vines, we're going to be doing some wine tasting and just having a generally good relaxing time. Oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> As I scale my glass back. Bar am you, bar am you. Oh my god, it works. <laughs> Where are we up to now? Going back down to the farmhouse for a barbecue and some wine. Welcome back to another episode of Matt and Nat Travel That, the unlikely travel couple that loves drinking wine almost as much as we love travelling. What's the weight limit? 20 kilos! Don't need undies then. This is the final episode of the Honeymoon Saga for us. I know, I know. We've had an absolutely epic time on our two week adventure and we've loved sharing it with you all. We said goodbye to our sixth birth Maui camper van who we affectionately named Big Bertha. I think I've got everything out. Goodbye Big Bertha. See ya. Thanks for a great trip. And drove up from Christchurch to Kekaringu, which is a coastal town halfway between Kaikoura and Blenheim. And this is where we got to experience all of the tranquility and romantic atmosphere at Sleeper's Vineyard. Sleeper's Vineyard is owned by Chris and Lynn Wilson, who share an unrivaled passion for wine and viticulture. We were lucky enough to have them host us in their adorable little cottage in the picturesque coastal town of Kekaringu. We got to experience a personalized wine tasting in an historic cob building, bike through grapevines, drank some wine, went on a tour of a vineyard, drank some more wine, fed the cute animals, and yes, drank some more wine. Fun fact, Sleeper's Vineyard is also the location of the 2019 comedy drama film Hang Time, which was filmed by Chris and Lynn's very talented daughter, Casey Zilbert. Oh, it just got warm, is that you, it? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, enough with the expo. <clears throat> Let's get into it. Today we've teamed up with Sleeper's Vineyard to stay out at their beautiful cottage in Kekaringu. We're going to be exploring the vines, we're going to be doing some wine tasting and just having a generally good relaxing time. We're going to show you all around, so let's show you around. Alright Nat, let's do the honours. Well first off, look at this little sign here. Always that nice left. to get a welcome. Oh, okay, isn't it come just... on in. So if you've had enough of city town life, you're sick of your phone going off, you don't want to be bothered, this is the perfect place for you. Surrounded by vineyards, sheep and pigs, pretty much. There's no phone reception, which you, you do have internet, which you can access if you want to or not. So come on through. The cottage consists of two bedrooms. So you've got a second bedroom in here, with queen size bed. The master bedroom through here, which I didn't make very well this morning, so I apologise. And look at that view that you get to wake up to. If you've got another extra couple of people, you've also got a futon. There's a nice little sitting area in here. Yeah, uh, there's a full bathroom, shower, toilet and bar. And then the, the awesome little fire. So the cottage is fully self-contained. So we've got a dishwasher over here. We've got cutlery. We have plates over here. We've got pots and pans down here to do our own cooking. Hot water, which is very special and I'll get to that in a moment. We have a stove top over here, an oven. And we also have breakfast supplied to us. This is cool, we've got some fresh eggs from the vineyard itself. Jam if you want toast. Wine glasses because you can't stay at a vineyard and not have any wine. It's just sacrilege. All right, let's go outside. <laughs> I'm chasing you around a circle. Not oh, high. Feel like sitting out on the deck just chilling with a glass of wine? Perfect place to sit. You've got the view of the mountains and all the fruit trees. Which, if you do feel like an apple, come with me. Thanks, Nat. Mmm, these apples are delicious. Fresh, organic, 
around here. And if you didn't feel like eating the rest of your apple, guess who you can feed them to? The sheep are more than happy to take the apples off your hands. If the sheep aren't around though, come with me and I'll show you what else you can do. Coco the pig over here is more than happy to take food scraps off your hand. Please don't bite my hand. Come on. Come here. Come here. He's, she can't reach. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Yum. Baram you, baram you. Oh my god, it works. <laughs> So the cottage here runs off gas-powered hot water, which is heating up the water just in case you wanted to take a relaxing dip outside in one of the awesomest baths you've ever seen. Don't feel like cooking inside? Why not cook dinner on their six burner barbecue? Ah, so relaxing. But if you're like me and you want a little bit more adventure than just sitting around, then you can take a ride down the vineyards with one of these bad boys. Now this is a working vineyard, so make sure that you are wearing your helmet and a high vis. That's all geared up for her bike ride. Oh, I'm about to swing my leg over, get the camera away. <laughs> Girls. Oh. <laughs> Change gears. Ah. It's alright, it's one of the bird scaring techniques that they use here in the vineyards. Hey. Hello. How are you finding the bike ride, honey? Yeah, it's about the bike ride <laughs> That's right, we have to go back and get ready for wine tasting. We are currently at Sleeper's Vineyard doing a wine and food pairing with our lovely host, Lynn. Oh, wow. Thank you. And this is Lynn, if you guys haven't seen her before. <laughs> Follow them on Instagram and Facebook. Yes, and we'll put those links down the bottom of the screen somewhere. This is probably the most intimate and romantic wine tasting we've ever done. The reason why I do it this way is, is to start with, is just to remember why we love wine. Yeah. Just wine. Okay, so we're going to start off with the Alberino. And people say, well, what's that? The taste. It's a very dry white wine. And people say, well, what do you do with that? It goes really nice with seafood. Is now mm. see what happens, how food can be changed with wine. We're doing caramel popcorn. So, and now try it. What happens? It changes the flavour. It does. Mm. It does. And then what I've put there is some Swiss cheese. And what that gives is a bit of nuttiness, a bit of taste. How long did it take you to find food that pairs well with wine? Did you like just drink heaps of wine and <laughs> heaps of food at the same time? We're just about to try a Tempranillo. What do you think of with the? Uh, yeah, it works really well. Yeah. <laughs> tell sure tell the people at home what you're about to try. Uh, a 2015 Tempranillo. Cheese. Smoked cheese we're pairing it with. Just... You did it. <laughs> <laughs> that works really well. So I think I'll try you. Oh, hello. Yeah, you can and now we're just going on a wine tour around Sleeper's Vineyard. <laughs> with Lynn as our tour guide. <laughs> First stop. That's our, we actually call it Thor. So that's the mighty Thor will come to protect us. And these wind turbines stop the frost from affecting the grapes and the harvest. Ah. And here we are at our second stop. We're getting pretty high up now. You guys are really like, this is just an absolutely stunning property. It's, yeah. It is beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that. I'm not bringing my hand out because I think she's going to blow away. It's incredible. It's pretty epic, isn't it? I mean, we've been pretty lucky with our honeymoon and getting some awesome landscapes. And it just never gets old when you see something oh, like gosh. this.
Oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> As I scaled my glass back. Where are we off to now? Uh, we're going back down to the farmhouse for a barbecue and some wine. And it's it's quite it's quite strange. It's it's funny like um, when people and I've I've been. Oh my god, there's a doggo! There's a doggo! Uh, oh, we haven't seen our dog Kara for two weeks. How was that? How was that honeymoon? A pretty epic honeymoon. Sure was. How excited are you to see Kara? Oh, I'm super excited. Hi! Hello, my Hey, Kiki! Kara. Hello. Hi. Oh Hello. Hello. Did you miss us? Kara, welcome home. We're home. That was us. We just dropped stuff. Home sweet home. Yeah, watch out. The dog's there. <sighs> Say hi to the camera. Oh, go away. So how do you end a honeymoon? We're staying out in the cottage with good friends, some good wine, and a good time. Didn't we? We had such a good time. And now the honeymoon is over. We're back home with Kiki. And we just sort of woke up in the morning and this is kind of what we look like. So, having said that, if you thought this video was tight, leave us a like. This ain't no bribe. Please subscribe. And hey, what the hell? Kiki? Good girl. And we'll catch you again in the next one. Bye.